how did you um how'd you like the promo i made fam i didn't see it bro we have to watch <laughs> it that's why no how, how'd you like filming it how'd you like filming, filming it it was fun this is this is my first like time like actually acting yeah. and, I'm, and I'm, I'm honored it's under you still yeah, let's, respect, go. Respect, let's respect. go cause yo low key I really wanna do more freaking um, acting shit or at yeah. least like short film shit mm, yeah. cause it's so fun fam cause I feel like remember back in the day they used to do the the YouTube skits oh yeah there used to be bare skits but YouTube now nobody makes skits fam yeah Have you it's, a, that? it's a bunch of trends you either do the mukbangs, you either do like the girlfriend does my makeup. Or pod it's just podcasts. Podcast. Yeah. Right? And there's not really like actual like storytellers, you know? Yeah. Because so, Niga Higa used to do it all the time. Yeah. The how to be a ninja? Yeah. Oh my god. Those are the funny ones. Um JK, they used to it was all skits, fam. Fam, I'm telling you, it was it was good content. Bro, Loki, we should bring that back, fam. We should bring that bring back that whole wave. I know, and we have we have a funny enough crew. And a willing enough crew that will do anything. Yeah. And like have fun with it. You feel me? No, nah, fuck it. Sh sh I'll, I'll just make more. I'll yeah, just make exactly. more. Because when we were filming it, fam, I remember when something we did something cool, we would all look at it. Yo, <laughs> it's fun, bro. I'm telling you, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm thinking, bro, I really want to get into like directing or something. Yeah. Just even storytelling or just even like film school. Low key, I, yeah. I low key want to look into that. Because at the end of the day, I think my biggest goal is to just make my own production. Yeah. Whether it be just like a, a TV show or even just like a little short film. Yeah. Bro, I got to do it at one point in my life. Yeah. And we were talking about it too. Like if you go like into film school, mm -hmm. you already have the reputation. Yeah, yeah. And people may know you or may not know you, but at the same time, you've you've tried it already. Yeah. So now you just go in and you learn like the proper techniques. That's the thing, fam. Yeah. That's the thing. All right, let's get into the- Okay, man. Let's oh, get I'm into the video. Excited, I'm actually excited. <laughs> Yo, back, back that I was like in one of the episodes, I'm like, Yo, I want to act in a rom com, but now I'm acting in like, <laughs> like <laughs> guns blazing Wild West. I bet. I, um, so just tell them like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For uh, for those who um are, are watching right now, go to the Wico Studios page on Instagram to watch the promo with us. We're not gonna show it on here because it has some. some yeah. Stuff. So so we can't show everything because um yeah. copyright. Yeah. Stuff like copyright that. and like. Loki, I don't even know if we're allowed yeah, to yeah, put yeah. it on YouTube, but <laughs> but yeah, just make sure right now, go on your phone right now and react to it with me, okay? This is my first reaction. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. <laughs> he gets captured, okay. Yo, John's actually a good actor, fam. Damn, he is, he is. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> Dude, this is all Pulp Fiction right here. Yeah. All Pulp Fiction. You have the comedic bit too? That's yeah. tough, that's tough. <laughs> Paper plane starts playing, here <laughs> oh. oh, the B-roll. That's my favorite part right there. Oh. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> it does all yeah. you It's perfect, hard. right? It's perfect. That is hard. But yeah, we definitely can't show this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only thing. There's too much. Nah, that's we have um, no like no streetwear brands are doing that. Loki, they aren't. They, they they don't make like short films type, yeah. type shit for promo. What's the, what's the guy that, that bought your watch you were telling me about? Oh, um, no, no, he made the watch. Yeah. Um, and he made like that Co Kobe Fisher. Yeah, and he made like that mini mafia. It, it's kind of it's kind of like that, yeah. but it's like it wasn't a story. Yeah. You know what I mean, it wasn't a story. It was just... What's dope about this, bro, is yeah. I really made it because people been DMing me <laughs> like, yo, when you dropping the next <laughs> the, release, we've been waiting, we've been waiting, yeah. and I. I don't know if you guys knew, but I actually did Wico Studios before the podcast, like mm -hmm. way before. Yeah. And I think most of my following, a lot of my followers are from that first. Yeah. So when I when I kind of stopped that, uh -huh. it was kind of like that old the OGs of mm. of my following, and they're like they're missing out. They're like yo, they're cheese. And then now the new people are like they'll drop stuff. So you have old and you coming for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, oh. <laughs> so we're gonna see how, yeah. how yo today's the drop though. When this comes yeah. out, today's the drop. So, <laughs> so make sure if you guys go on the website, link in the description. You guys can copy <laughs> the shirts. Just, <laughs> this guys is getting bare promo. Just bare promo. <laughs> no, but the the ad you made us look really good. Yeah. Because I remember, I remember, I didn't know, fam. I've never like been to a gun range, right? Yeah, yeah. So I don't know how to shoot a gun properly so i was going like <laughs> i was like i was like <laughs> that guy's gab is like popping his shoulder like bro <laughs> relax this ain't John, John walkies. <laughs> no but there, there's an art to it though there is like, there like is shooting a gun and like falling yeah and just looking because acting is everything low yeah, key you can is. act like you fell you have mm -hmm. to act like you got shot you have yeah. to act like you know how to hold something because it's all it's all like connected fam even just the the fact of your clothing too yes like bro. whatever you're wearing it look, has to like yeah it, yeah it just it just has to look right snap yeah. yeah so bro taking that shit probably took like what 10 hours plus yeah editing filming whatever mm -hmm. so imagine a movie i know imagine a movie how and long that shit would take yeah we did that in what 
30 minutes an hour yeah like an hour no like an experience hour. of like actual a- acting like none of the actors yeah yeah uh, we're, we're just friends <laughs> exactly <laughs> but, <laughs> but imagine imagine john because john john had a lot of acting oh, yeah, lines yeah, yeah. so we we had to reshoot and then he had to spit it reshoot spit oh, it okay. like no nah, we need more we need more of this energy yeah yeah we, we need to pretend like oh yo you, you have family to feed you know what yeah. i mean like you got to bring that that energy with yeah. you that's why that's why um because my friends in acting mm-hmm. he's going to be in the new movie with uh lady gaga no way yeah shadow arianne he watches the podcast oh, shoot, he's going to be in uh right yeah but he's going to be in that movie mm-hmm. and pretty much he called josh and he's like yo i need help making making a character yeah because what they do when you get a when you get a role mm-hmm. you really have to make your character and be like backstory okay what did he eat for breakfast yeah, feel yeah. me how did he grow up as a child that's because that all plays in mm-hmm. to exactly how you're going to react in that situation yeah. right fam because i remember um when you were telling me what really helped me was when you were coaching me yeah you're like gavin just pretend you're in the matrix yeah right? <laughs> or pretend you're john wick yeah and, exactly and as soon as I did that. I'm like, bah, bah, bah. like <laughs> I felt it right, and mm. the, and there's guys in um. I remember watching um, uh, Midsummer. Yeah. Right. And um, after I watched the interviews with the actors. Yeah. And they were like, it was such a mental, like it was crazy mentally mm. that you had to really immerse yourself as the character. So when you were shooting the movie, you wouldn't go through like the actual like Word. trauma. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like the guy in Creed. Um, who's that guy? The um Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. He does the crazy workouts. Like he. Oh, immer- he trained like a boxer. He immer- immerses himself into that character yeah because yeah. because that's what it takes especially if you want to put on a good performance yeah they do um it's called method acting yeah i heard that's what about it's that, called yeah. it's like method acting so i think mm-hmm. r.i.p heath ledger but remember he played the joker yeah so people said that he took that role so seriously yeah he isolated himself he and he low-key got into hard drugs yeah and that kind of led to his his death Shit. because of that role Damn. you know the guy on um, downtown who who dresses up as spider-man yeah <laughs> Maybe he's practicing for a role, fam. <laughs> you never know. But not. But you, you seen um. I think I remember J.K. Yeah, yeah. They they did a, th- a thing like a little segment mm-hmm. where they do usually do like wrestling or boxing. But one was fake falling. Oh and, and yeah. It was so funny. I, I don't know if they deleted it, but they were trying it out and they looked so goofy at first. They're like, mm. <laughs> they're like <laughs> yeah, that was John in the video. Yeah. <laughs> right but but after like it's dead ass an art fam yeah it is like it you is. need to like there's certain things that you have to do so you make it look you, actual real you have to trick your mind to be like i actually got shot because yeah. <laughs> if you fall like slow mo that's not realistic yeah you feel but me? i feel like those actors that really really are deep into that character yeah when they get hit with something they they probably feel the real pain like yeah. in their head oh yeah like it triggers them because mm-hmm. you know how um they always say like your mind is so powerful mm-hmm. if you just imagine something so much you'll actually feel the pain like yeah. um there's this kind of carnival game yeah it's like uh you, you know those uh zaltar or whatever the um, oh yeah zaltar. the mind reading person <laughs> yeah yeah it's like a little machine you, mm-hmm. you'd see it you see it in like fairs or whatever that's fake though right it's fake yeah, yeah. but there's usually another one beside it where you put your hand in something and then it, it has like a big blade like a guillotine oh, shoot. and it chops your hand right yeah but it doesn't actually chop your it, hand it stops, yeah. but what it does it makes it feel like you, it really did so when you see it your initial reaction is like damn i gotta pull my hand away yeah, right yeah, away of course yeah but you subconsciously <laughs> uh-huh. you got a little shock of pain yeah just because you saw it like that that's true but then like you get the mentally tough people who are like Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, yeah. It's not gonna be, then they just keep the hand there. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, that works with, like, even, like, stubbing your toe. Yeah. Like, say, e- even just imagine somebody stubbing their toe, like, you feel the pain, like, you cringe. Exactly. You yeah. cringe up, right? Or even, um, just, yeah, in, uh, in horror, in horror movies. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that, I think that's the same shit. Like, when you see something scary, I get scared too. A hundred percent, fam. The, the, fam, the escape room that you wanted me to try, the yeah. Nick to phobia nectophobia all in your head because yeah. you're in the dark mm. so you have to imagine everything going on right yeah and bro i was i didn't know i had like the fear of dark because in that room it's pitch black i it's was going black. like this i didn't want to touch anything <laughs> like that ass if you seen me on the security camera it mm. was me the like for 40 minutes going like this no, 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 no. like hanging on to my cousin. <laughs> Yo, right? who, who did the the toilet thing? Oh no, not me, not me. <laughs> oh, you didn't do I it. I knew it though. I knew. I was like, because I I would like pretend. I already knew it was gonna happen, right? Yeah. So I was like, Yo, it's probably in the toilet. And then everyone was like, <laughs> I was like, Oh, <laughs> he's so smart. <laughs> not because uh, in in the escape room I did yeah. one of the parts. You have to put your hand in the toilet yeah. and grab a key, bro. It's so cool because that escape room it felt very immersive. Yeah, bro. Because like the other escape rooms, it doesn't 
hit as, it doesn't hit the same. It's not. It didn't hit the same. But something about that one is so. Mer- and I haven't done it yet, but mm. the ones with um with actors in it. Oh my god, that one's gonna be crazy. I have to tell you, there's one in North Carolina. I yeah. think I read about, and it's like the Black Plague. Black Plague. Yeah. So there's like two rooms. Yeah. The plague room mm-hmm. and the cure room, right? Mm-hmm. And the whole time you're running around, running around from zombies. Oh, word. And you're and you're trying to co- communicate with the doctor who's trying to cure them, but you have to keep running, keep running, keep yeah. running. And, yeah. And then they're they're like actors. They're after you. They're after you the That's whole time. Sick. But but the thing is, like, they you sign a waiver, right? Yeah. But if you touch the zombies, you, the the game ends. Oh, you're not allowed to touch them, <laughs> bro. If I was in there, I'm like, yo, stop, <laughs> like push them away, type shit. Yeah, cause I I did something similar in um in universe. And oh, bro, when the one in Universal, uh-huh. they had a guy at the top of the like the roof or whatever, yeah, yeah. and he was shooting an AR fam. What? But I'm pretty sure that you they were using like blank rounds, so it was so loud, bro. Whoa. That shit was so loud, and it was crazy because he was pointing at us. Yeah, yeah. But there were zombies beside us, Whoa. so he would shoot, and then the zombies beside us would fall. But I, I but thought I was gonna get hit. hit. Oh. I thought I was gonna get hit because you really see the gun like the flare yeah. and the sound. It like rings in your ears, like yo, what the like, heck? I thought it was I, was I thought it was gonna get shot. <laughs> so you were actually getting chased by things. Yeah, the, there's things around you, right? Yeah. There's like a cage, and then the the arms are like ripping through. No way. Yeah, and you could actually get touched. Like they'll actually try and grab you. You've been to Halloween Haunt, right? I never been. I never been I've to never that been one either. You th- we should go this year. Let's vlog it. Let's vlog, vlog it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Corona version. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta stay like twelve, yeah. 12 uh, thing away from me. But I think the Halloween Haunt though mm-hmm. is it that they can they can just grab you? No, they can. Cause my my dad. I, always tells me like him and his boys yeah. when they were young they went to Halloween Haunt and they, they were so scared like that us like I think people came up and like touched them grab them oh, ripping their shit Yo. <laughs> and I'm like I don't want to go to that shit <laughs> yo I have a story for you I have a story right, 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 right. so I remember this one time right mm-hmm. so me and my uncle and my cousin yeah. we all went to Wonderland mm-hmm. and we got there before Halloween Haunt so it was kind of like um half of the day is regular Wonderland oh. half of <laughs> the day is transition. just Halloween Haunt yeah transitions <laughs> but for whatever reason bro our ticket yeah. it only allowed us for, for the first half of the day oh, so shit. we gotta get kicked out so it sucked right yeah so what we did we're like yo <laughs> All right, we're gonna hide in that the garbage can. <laughs> gonna hide in the change room yeah. <laughs> and wait until they all dress and up, then, and then wait and then wait till all the zombies come out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the boom freaks. We, we're gonna do it. We're like we're dead ass. We're about to do it. I'm like, yeah. cause cause we started seeing the security walk around, yeah, yeah. and like, damn, we can't do it. Bro. I know, we can't yeah. do it. That's tough because I remember um too. I think it was a a baseball game like Blue Jays, mm-hmm. and this was like in the summer. So um, me and my friends wanted to watch the baseball game, and we were already in the arena. Yeah, right for some reason. But yeah, we just got kicked out because there was no seats left. Type shit. Yeah, and they mm-hmm. were looking. I was like, yo, there's a guy, this security guy. We I gotta get out of here. Yeah, yeah. You know? Do you know that? So there's a thing people say what? that if you walk in. Anywhere with a ladder, I've said you'll get this before. In. You said that, <laughs> yeah. Remember, um, the, in the Super Bowl, two kids wore a construction vest and uh, and brought yeah, a yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm talking about, we talking about this, yeah. Oh, f- I don't remember, yeah, but yeah. So I remember, um, was it David Dobrik that did it? I don't even know. I David think Dobrik did it, I think oh, his, yeah, crew, I think, his crew did it, yeah, right? yeah, his crew did it. And then they walked into like a movie, theater. I know they walked into like a freaking a baseball game, yeah. whatever, basketball game, yeah. It's true though, if you walk in with a freaking ladder, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna let you through, I don't yeah, want to, I don't want to bother you, exactly. Like the security, what can you do? But the only problem, bro, we're you putting the ladder after. Like, let's say, oh, <laughs> let's see, let's see, you walk into like you just plant it down, yeah, and then you just keep moving. <laughs> no, but how would you bring a ladder? Because ladders are huge, fam. Yeah, they are. Ladders are big. Because how do you, how do you bring that to like a basketball game? Because you're are you taking the subway there? Oh, you're true. That's me? true. Yeah, that that makes sense. You're gonna carry that ladder like through those the escalators and shit. Oh yeah, maybe I don't know. You gotta you gotta bring like a whole crew with you. It's, it's gonna be like a heist. It's gotta be at least five men on that some do it. on some uh, Ocean's Eleven. I don't know what is that You don't know Ocean's Eleven is no. Bro What's wrong with you fam Ocean's Eleven is like the heist crew No You don't know Daniel Ocean No I've never watched that Bro That's like the craziest um, Like heist movie one, one, nice. one, of, one of the classics One of the classics mm-hmm. So he was pretty much like um, He was a con artist right? okay, yeah. And he had like 11 people in his crew yeah. And all of them are specialized In in bank robberies Shit. So he had the con man Yeah, yeah. You had like the, um, the swindler mm-hmm. You had the the, the tech guy whoever yeah. surveillance camera mm-hmm. and then one of them was like an Asian guy oh, and you know he was good at computer was, hacking a lie nah 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 what he was a grease man you know what grease man is grease man no is that like robbing people like nah 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 uh, so so grease man he was he was like an acrobat he's like an a ninja acrobat. yeah he's like a ninja so oh. he can like he can like climb shit yeah and he can like um what do you call it slide down bars yeah. whatever oh. sneak in through being tight 
type places. Yeah. So what they did, they put him in like a, a cart uh-huh. and then put him into the bank vault because because the security like pushed him into the bank vault. That popped out, yeah. stole all that shit, bro. That's crazy. Not because th- have you seen that guy? Um, there was a story about some crazy ninja mm-hmm. who was like this Robin Hood type ninja who would go into like rich, really rich like towns, yeah. steal all of that. Wait, modern day? No, old, very old. Oh. But then he would he would go and steal from all these rich like merchants yeah. and share it with the, what do you call this? Oh, that's right. The, ro- the poor people. That's that's real Robin Hood. Real man. Robin Hood. That's real Robin Hood. Yeah. I think Robin Hood is a real person though, right? Was he? I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure there's a statue somewhere in Europe with a Robin Hood. Like, with Robin Hood? Like a really old statue. Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure Robin Hood is real. Yeah, because I, I today I searched up are ninjas real? Because I really wanted to No, they out. are. They, they are. are. Yeah, but I I saw on like BBC like they're going extinct. Yeah, because you know? why why would you need a ninja nowadays? Which is sad, fam. <laughs> <laughs> just sad for like really. <laughs> Yo, that's like a low like the stupid question, but that's a good question. Yeah, like it's like why would you need actually a ninja? wait? Hold on, <laughs> nah, bro. Because Loki, there's still a need for that. There's still a need for reconnaissance. Would there? Maybe maybe they want you to think ninjas are going extinct, bro. Maybe that's oh, what they want yeah. you to think. But there's actually like ninjas roaming around and shit. No, what if there's like private <laughs> private mercenary companies? Yeah, that's still like higher ninjas. That's still that still practice like the old techniques. Yeah, yeah, probably, bro. Yeah, probably, I know. Cause um, I don't know if you watch Black Widow, like that whole thing where they have a team of women where they're like mercenaries, whatever. Yeah, highly trained. Okay, there's pro- there's probably something like whether it be like a uh, CIA, you know? Yeah. yeah. Do you think they have? They probably have ninjas like that. <laughs> you could just call them spies. Yeah, just call them spies. But the the, the term ninja, I think, is is more complex because they actually have the the crazy techniques and the tricking oh tricking. you know like okay, it's like okay. some anime type shit no but there's the, the, oh, yo there's gotta be some people that like scale the walls and shit you know what i mean like spider-man yeah but but uh, you seen that video of the, the the actual ninja watching anime oh yeah i saw that yeah, I and saw he was that. like he was like yo th- like some of this is real but like the uh, the jumping and like the scaling walls and the throwing the ninja stars yeah it's not realistic yo but did you know what the naruto run is actually mad practical. <laughs> yeah. okay. I saw that video on top of the video I watched. It's like a uh, ninja reacts to the Naruto run or something. Yeah, and, and he he was saying like it's actually practical. Like you do that to balance your weight. Because oh, if you're if you're running fast enough or you're yeah. trying to be silent at the same time, uh-huh. you like balance your weight. <laughs> you see that kid at Mary's who who ninja ran across the hallway. <laughs> All the kids, bro. All the kids. I was doing that in grade six, bro. Right? Really? <laughs> yeah. No, that's crazy. But but like how you said the ninja one was realistic. Mm-hmm. You know the the. The signs and shit? That's real too. That's real too. Yeah. I, I heard like you can reach a different level of conscience. Yeah, it's once it's, you... it's a it's a form of meditation, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then it's it's like a thing of um kind of a morale booster. Oh, okay, like a confidence booster? Yeah, it's like it's a like... morale booster. It's like it's like a prayer, yeah. you know. Like protect me, whatever. Yeah, and then you go into battle. Okay, because a lot of a lot of things like um the samurai they used to do something similar where they do like a a ritual all together. Yeah, and then they do like a prayer, yeah. and then they go off into battle. Yeah, it's like the man's doing the haka. Yeah, just like that. Exactly just like yeah. that. Right? And like you know the crazy man's before like they start a street fight, they're like, ah, ah. <laughs> you know, and yeah. then they go in. You feel me? <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know what time it is? Yeah. <laughs> that, I swear that's always that's what they always say that bullshit, Pull bro. Pull the pants up. You, you, know know time time you know what time it is? You don't know who I am. <laughs> you know the struggles I've been through. But I feel like, bro, the the man's that that scream in your face like that, Loki, they don't know how to fight. They're paranoid though. They're just trying to amp themselves up. You do that? Sometimes. Would you would you scream like I cause I'm I'm a silent. I only scream when I know I'm gonna lose. Oh really? Yeah, because I have to try and like mentally I'm already defeated, so might as well try something to help me. Yeah. You feel me? True. And it might work. Cause I remember I always used to fight the the seven feet people. And yeah. I'm like, oh my god, here we go again. So I'm like, let's go. Right? <laughs> yeah. And then I, I would go out there feeling like bold. Okay, you know? if I gave you like Ten million dollars? Would you go into a gladiator ring? Hell no! Ten million, ten million dollars, ten million dollars. Yeah, you, you, you have a week to train. You have a week to train. <laughs> Man, that does not matter. Why does it matter? Because at the end of the day, I'm dying, so I'm not even gonna use the. No, 10 you're mil. not gonna die, fam. If you win, you win. A gladiator though. <laughs> <laughs> These samurais and gladiators and ninjas have been training for years. You give me one week. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You ever watch Battle Royale? Yeah. You, you know the the old yeah, Japanese yeah. film, right? Yeah, yeah. Ten million dollars to be in that. No, bro. They're too advanced for me, bro. How much money? How much money to be in battle royale? I wouldn't even. You couldn't even pay me enough money to to for me to go in there. Really? Yeah. Cause that's so. That's too scary. How about Damn. you? No way you would go I in there. I think there's a price. I think there's a price. There's a price. There might be a price, man. <laughs> Honestly, it, it depends where I am in life, though. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's where I'm at in life. If, if it's like right now, bro, no, we gotta continue this podcast. Yeah, it depends where I'm at. Like, like it, if if it's later down the line, like I have nothing else to do, am yeah. I like, on board? Exactly. Maybe still. <laughs> no, but it could be another incentive. It's like maybe you have 
10 mil and that's it just you focus your life on training mm. and you just you don't have to do work for the rest of your life you just have to go in this gladiator okay what if it's like you know the maze runner yeah, yeah. where they were trapped in uh that kind of facility yeah. and outside of that it was the apocalypse okay so what if the world is over uh-huh. but then money wouldn't matter <laughs> okay money saying, wouldn't matter time, bro you're not valuing your life bro you're valuing your money like you're you're the main you're the main guy who says yo money doesn't buy happiness <laughs> It's all perspective. No, but it like <laughs> <laughs> you're flexing the wrong paper. <laughs> no, but it's but I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying like because I know I know you're you're a paper chaser, fam. <laughs> yeah, I am. So you would you wouldn't? There's no price point you would go into. That? No, because I still value life at the end of the day. Yeah, you true. feel me? But. <laughs> Like, fear, okay, imagine we were put on, like, you know, Fear Factor? Yeah. Eating a bunch of worms, shit like that. You would do that. I would do that 100%. Or, but but when, when you're in danger, you wouldn't do it. No. There's, there's no amount of money to put yourself in danger. In danger, I don't think so. Okay, I respect that still. I respect yeah. that. Because <laughs> there's some people that would. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, there's this this one, Um, would you would you do this for a certain amount of money that I always tell people? Would you put a nail in your toenail and kick a wall as hard as you can? Depends on what. For, for a mill. Yeah, I'd do that. You would do that? Do oh, that. I can't do pain, bro. I'd do that. Any Gross stuff like like now go, going do. going back to what we were talking about, bro. Yeah, I'll just prepare myself, fam. Mm-hmm. I'll just <laughs> I'll do oh. those mental tricks. I'll do those mental tricks. So like yeah. I take away the the feeling in my foot. Okay, <laughs> just do and that just, shit, bro. And just do it. Like I'll lose the feeling in my leg and just do it. Shit, that makes sense, bro. <laughs> like on some on some monk shit, bro. Monk shit. I was thinking. Cause uh-huh. I think I said this before. Uh-huh. I think I might want to do like a monk retreat just to see what Word. it's like. Just to see what it's like. Cause I I watched a few videos on monks. Cause I knew at some point at the podcast monks are gonna come up with you. Yeah. <laughs> and like <laughs> I don't know if you know Jedion, but he took a monk to like um to IHOP. And they were just having a conversation. I hop. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, yo, you're welcome whenever, whenever our temple, you can come in, yeah. we can meditate and stuff like that. And then Jadion was asking the dumbest question. He's like, yo, what rank are you? Are you prestige? <laughs> <laughs> right? Acting dumb and shit. Yeah. He's like, yo, you, can you fly? <laughs> right? And the monk was like, he was cool about it. Like yeah. monks are so relaxed at all times. It's like only on Sundays. <laughs> yeah, it's like only on Sundays, man. Like maybe Mondays, like, if I'm really feeling it. But he's like, yo, can you tuck me in? And stuff like that. It was so funny. You got to watch that video. Because they, they try train so much bro and i think they they're un, they're unlocking some part of your brain that makes you better than the average person mm. it's like a real superhero yeah because i think iron fist you know iron fist yeah, yeah he's the superhero that has like um he can put all the chi into the his chi. fist and then yeah. like become super strong okay. that's got to be real too bro mm. low key i haven't watched shang chi yet but is the 10 rings like a power up yeah pretty much it's 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 like a weapon oh, okay it's like a weapon makes you super powerful yeah and okay. then like you can like throw them around and shit and like beat everybody up also it's like the captain america shield yeah like, it's kind of like that but there's like 10 there's 10 of them yeah oh shit that's pretty cool it's crazy it's crazy and i like how um like marvel made you know how when everyone comes out the movie theater they go mm-hmm. like they do the the stance oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> not the dance. after i watch shang chi every time i go in the mirror <laughs> <laughs> no. I swear every single time. But it's it's literally like my friend told me that it's like the equivalent to the Black Panther. Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. How the the black people have this. Mm-hmm. Asians now have go. This. <laughs> now we have this. You yeah. know? So it's kind of cool, bro. And then because when I was a kid, mm-hmm. I always when I watch Spider Man, it's always bow bow fam bow bow. Yeah, right? we we always wanted to be a ninja. Like when your mom was cooking and shit, you would always mm-hmm. go around and hide. Yeah, you know. Because what do we have, bro? We have ninjas, fam. We have the samurai. Samurais. That's who we look up to, Loki. Yeah. Bruce Lee Manny Pacquiao <laughs> yeah. That's it no. But what sucks bro We don't really see Is there any Asian UFC champion Any UFC Asian I think Wei Li She is lost it, Oh no though. who's that Who's that The UFC guy Ben BJ Penn Is he Is he He's oh, Asian I think he's He's um He he might be part Filipino No way I think But no. I know he's from He's from Is he from Hawaii he, I think he is He's from, from he, island I He's from he island from for Hawaii. sure But yeah BJ Penn I only looked up to him Just cause he was Asian Really You feel me Cause well, what else Asians are there Yeah Like you know like The guy who got knocked out By Mayweather The, the Asian guy Oh the um, <laughs> What's his name so Ten- Tension 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 bro Like you're a GO fan But like damn I felt so bad for him But he only got beat By the GOAT though So it's not that bad Yeah but it was so bad Like he started crying In his corner Yeah I don't know Why he did that <laughs> stuff <laughs> At least, at least he got it back I'm not gonna lie He, sh- he shouldn't have acted like that yeah <laughs> you think it was rigged yeah for sure okay yeah bro honestly a lot of these fights now mm-hmm. it's it's not even for 
the, what, what do they want? Does Mayweather want respect? No. Yeah, it's just a bag, bro. He just wants some money, bro. <laughs> he wants more money. You can tell when, when he came in, he was looking f- chubby, bro. Mayweather? Yeah, he was looking chubby in that fight. Like, it looks like he didn't, he barely worked out. Yeah, because Loki, he's, he's like the sensei fam. I don't think you can touch him. I don't Master think you can really Chi. touch him like that. Master Chi. <laughs> yeah, Master Chi, Master Chi. Master Shifu. Oh, yeah, Shifu. <laughs> Shifu, Shifu. <laughs> Who's Master Chi? Am I thinking about the wrong thing? You're thinking Shang-Chi, bro. <laughs> so I'm mixing it up, fam. <laughs> yeah. Yo, but it was so jokes when uh, Shea, the guy from Chang-Chi, I, don't, I forgot his name, Sim Liu. Sim Liu, yeah. yeah. He was like in stock photos before, but- Oh then- <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> so now he's like, yo, no more stock photos for me. <laughs> it's kind of cool because like the Asian representation in that movie was kind of sick. It was sick. Yeah. But they always use um Aquafina. <laughs> Why do no, they always use Aquafina? She's funny, fam. She's funny, she's funny. Aquafina's a ghost. But it's gotta be more. Loki, gotta be Loki, more. I wanted Aquafina on this podcast. Like that would be a that'd fire- be sick. That'd be, that'd be fire sick. Fire. Shout out Aquafina. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, have you seen um? There's this new Netflix show, mm-hmm. and it's all about Filipino myths and legends. Myth? Yeah, yeah, somebody sent that? it to me. What's it called? I forgot what it's called. I forgot. Um, but um, what's her name is in it? The girl, the girl that was in is it Pretty Little Liars? But yeah, she's in it too, fam. That's crazy. But but I remember um seeing the guy who does the martial art chicken. Yeah, like like when uh I think J.K. shot a video with them too mm-hmm. of them just doing backflips, backflips. Mm-hmm. He was uh the main stunt double for Shang Chi. Oh really? Which is crazy. That's sick. Yeah. So like. And he was on a grind for a long time. So, like, imagine eight years of your life, you're just doing YouTube videos. Mm. Now you're in, like, one of the biggest Asian superhero movies. That's how it happens, bro. As long as you put in the effort and just... Because, honestly, I think about it like this. So, if if you just, like, stayed in your bed and didn't do shit, Mm -hmm. there's no way somebody's going to recognize you. Or, like, if, if you ever had ambitions to go out and be, let's say praise i guess whatever yeah, you know yeah. what i mean or scene yeah that's not gonna happen if you unless you post something yeah right and i feel like that's a lot of a lot of people they give up on their dreams because of that because of that reason they don't even try yeah like they don't post themselves out or they don't at least put in the effort to try and get recognized or try and be the next whatever yeah right not because well like the main thing is the hardest thing about this, all this shit is to start it. Yeah, right. And it I, is. I remember uh, Joe Rogan on his podcast. He was talking about like, yo, if you don't want to work out, just take, just, just start because oh, it only takes an hour of the day. Then you're done. You don't have to extend it. Yeah, right? yeah. But the number one thing, and I took this with my, my studies. Mm-hmm. Now it's like whenever I know a task I can finish in like five minutes, just do it, bro. Don't overthink it. Yeah. You know? Because mm-hmm. I think when you just start it, then it, you just build that momentum. Yeah. But it's so hard because I see this, I see this with my sister too. Like mm-hmm. when you get in that little rut, yeah. you know what I mean? You get that little rut, you don't want to do anything for the rest of the day. Yeah. It's hard to get yourself out of that. That's 100%. why that's that's the worst. That's yeah. the worst. So I think the way to combat that is to just do like little tasks. Little tasks. Cause if even if you don't, that's I think that's the that's the reason everybody in the military makes their bed. Yeah. That's why I said this before mm-hmm. too. I'm like, yo, I gotta start making my bed so I can accomplish something, mm-hmm. feel good and carry that momentum. Yeah, that's what it is. You Cause know? if if you just sleep in <laughs> That's the worst, bro, because I feel so lazy when yeah. I do that. And, and when you sleep and you, you wake up from a nap, you low-key feel more tired. Like, you're going to work for a bit and then you're going to back to sleeping. Yeah. You know what I hate, bro? I hate I hate when I have such a good dream. And then and like, it ends? And then it ends and then I, I want to go back in and Facts, I don't have the bro. same dream. Oh, my God. With my crush fam. And I'm like, yo, yo, yo. And then it ends? Yeah. Nah, that is, I tried so many times to go back to that. Like, this is one time. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> I was in this, like, I was in this, like, arcade. It was a futuristic arcade, Word. fam. And I was playing the next, the craziest games ever, <laughs> fam. And then I cut off. I got cut off. I was in the middle of a level. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, I want to go back so bad. Yeah, yeah. And then you, you try your best. You're like... Yeah, yeah, I, I I go back and I use all of my brain power to try and get to that exact position. But then it, you ruin it because once you start thinking, you, you can't go back. And you know what they say? What? You know they? Huh? They? <laughs> what? <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> you know how I always say they? <laughs> Do you? Yeah, I always say they. You know how they say, but who's they? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You ever bag that? I have it, Loki. <laughs> you never, you never question like who, who's they. <laughs> you never question me, Loki, because I always say, you know, they say, but who's really they? Honestly, I no, no. But at the end, like sometimes you stop doing this, but then you're like, 
I don't know if it's true. <laughs> that's, that's your biggest line. <laughs> and after that, you stop saying that. I don't question no more. That's right. why. Because like I used to question where like uh, when you you were like hesitant about it, but then you're mm-hmm. like, I don't know if that's true. So I would I would just step back. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Wait, what is it gonna say again? Wait, what was I talking about before that? <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna cut this out because because we were literally just talking about how we don't get no sleep and we start to forget stuff. Yeah, I know it's bad. That, that that's the thing. I was looking into it. If you if you start losing sleep. And you pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Yo, eventually, you're going to start forgetting things. Forgetfulness, bro. And it's low-key. It low-key triggers, like, dementia when you're old, which is terrifying, fam. Dementia, that's that's the craziest thing. Because I remember... um, those you know those heartfelt um videos where like the mom or like the the mom and the son yeah are in in the the restaurant and they're like mom it's me and then she has dementia and she's like wait is that dementia no that that's is dementia else. that is where, dementia. where they don't remember yeah they don't remember oh, yeah, yeah. like in thinking, a notebook remember yeah, yes bro mm-hmm. that that hits me the hardest because it's like mom you don't remember me and then the mom's like who are you Damn. like imagine like you gave birth to that person that's don't scary remember that shit. well what's what's crazy is i always think what if um somebody super 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 famous or somebody like iconic whether they be leonardo da vinci you yeah. know what i mean some somebody lost in history and yeah. they disappeared what if nikola tesla is still alive somewhere but he just forgot his nikola tesla oh and right. he just wandered yeah oh shit and they, they would never recognize him because he doesn't even know his own name he doesn't even know that's Imagine. scary bro. that's crazy right that's scary bro because there's so many accidents of and like deaths of just people just with dementia going off and wandering and then they just never get found again. Dude, that's like, um, you know, Obi-Wan Anobi? <laughs> Obi-Wan like, Kenobi? Yeah. It's like, damn, I haven't heard that name in a while. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know that classic meme? Yeah, facts. No, that's like, facts. Like, who? <laughs> I haven't heard that name in a while. <laughs> No facts. That's what people in high school like. Sometimes, like I'll be in, uh, like around the table with my high school friends, yeah. and they're like, "Yo, what happened? Whatever happened to blank?" And they're like, "Yo, what did happen to that guy?" <laughs> but those people, I guess they just weren't important to you at the time, fam. No, but there's always those people yeah. that I always think about randomly. They always pop up in my dreams like randomly, and yeah. I never even talk to them or ne- not even like, I don't know, gave a gave a care. Really? They just pop in some sometimes, like weirdly maybe that's a, that's a sign maybe, yeah that's what i'm thinking what if it's a sign it's like what if every single time like somebody pops into your dream yeah. is when they think about you too fam i always i always do that i have that superstition mm-hmm. there's another one i have where it's like if i can't sleep that night some i'm in someone else's dream oh yeah and i heard that one you know those ones mm-hmm. yeah but what was yours again say it again so every time you go to bed and yeah. somebody pops in your dream okay what if they're thinking about you in their dream at the same time mm, that's cool right that's like dream morphing yeah it's like um, that spongebob episode yeah remember that spongebob episode where uh he's like dream hopping he was in patrick's dream then gary's dream yeah yeah right Uh so what if it's like that but in real life yo okay if you had any person to dream hop who would you dream hop who do you think has the craziest dreams? craziest dreams damn probably like Probably like Lil Uzi, to be honest. Word? Lil Uzi I thought you were gonna say I thought you were gonna say though. like Elon Musk. No, but I feel like Elon Musk, <laughs> he has no he has literally no sleep. I'm gonna be in there for like 30 seconds. <laughs> it's like, yo, I'm in Elon. Yeah. Where am I? <laughs> It'd be like a fucking vine. <laughs> That'd be the whole dream. Facts, 15 seconds. It's like, yo, is that a Tesla? And it like goes away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Hmm, what but else? but Elon is definitely he definitely has some next stuff he's thinking about. Yeah. Cause right now I have the podcast, right? Yeah. Working on the clothing brand with my other ideas. I have some yeah. even some other projects I don't want to talk about yet. Yeah, yeah. But as I grow older, mm-hmm. I start to see why Kanye is so like weird. You know what I mean? Or like why? It, it, it's just when you have so many things on your head mm-hmm. at the same time, it's like you're just like you're trying to multitask, right? Yeah. So imagine you take a whole bucket of clothes, right? Mm-hmm. You're holding it in your arms. Yeah. And then try and make an outfit. But you're holding it all like this. <laughs> yeah. So you're like looking like, damn, what can I look at, right? Yeah. But you have to hold it in your arms like this. Mm-hmm. That's kind of like the feeling I get sometimes. And I think what I need to do, I need to find a way to take out the stress of one project and only focus on one. Yeah, you have to organize it. Yeah, yeah. but it's hard. It's it hard. Is, bro. Yeah, because like- you ever, you ever have that? Yes, bro, because I balance, listen, I balance the podcast, school, mm-hmm. um, my brand, and, and my work my yeah, actual yeah. work so i'm like going into the semester i'm looking at my four options like i have to drop something mm. it can't be the podcast yeah it can't be school it's either my brand or my actual work mm-hmm. and i'm like bro the podcast 
and my brand i'll make money from so i'll, I'll just take the i'll drop my work for now because mm. i can always go back to it yeah and, and that just dropping one thing alone takes so much stress i off, know man. but sometimes i don't i want to do if i could do everything at the same time i would yeah do you have those ones where you sleep and then you're just just always thinking of new ideas and it, like there, there comes to a point where like your head hurts and you can't sleep no that's it that's every night <laughs> oh shit. I that's feel every bad, night <laughs> that's crazy no nah, but like that, that happens even during the day i think sometimes even when I brush my teeth. When you brush your teeth, man? You know those times where you, where you daydream when you're brushing your teeth? Oh yeah, all the time. I just listen to music. Bro, for me, it's low-key terrifying when I'm brushing my teeth because it's it's like everything's rushing. Yeah. It's weird. It's mm -hmm. like a fast pace. Yeah, I, I know that feeling. I know you that know? Every, it's so fast, man. Yeah, and then everything's rushing through my head like, okay, this, 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 this yeah. as I'm brushing my teeth. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't, I don't know. I, I hate that feeling of like, Mm -hmm. All the tension, yeah. Because I have anxiety. Loki, Loki, I need to get that checked, man. <laughs> Loki, this is Loki your your therapy, though. Yeah, it is. It yeah. is. I see. I seen one comment is like, "Yo, Carlos, lo this is Loki is therapy, just talking to people." Yeah, I but, was like, damn, that's kind of true. Because I don't, I don't get to go to, I don't get to go to school no more, so I don't, I don't get to have these random conversations yeah. with people, and that's yeah. what that's what I used to always do. You should look Loki just join in classes and just talk to people. <laughs> I might just honestly, I might just go downtown or just something. The just, campus, just, just the like, campus, just like, yo, what do you say? Yeah, yeah, just randomly talk to people. <laughs> but now it's a weird because some people recognize me they're yeah. like wait a minute so they're like yeah i know what you're doing buddy yeah <laughs> but no it, it's kind of funny because like you like you say you always have the anxiety but you're the one you're the ones giving people therapy like the sophia episode the the one where i had the yeah all black you're just giving us therapy i know during your <laughs> therapy session. maybe so that's like, how i found my way maybe that's how i found my way to be honest a lie <laughs> but yeah, yeah loki i think that my drape i like daydreaming but at the same time it's kind of like it's bad for me why because like I can, I ha I swear I'm addicted to like daydreaming. You're addicted to daydreaming? Yeah, because like in the middle of the day and during class, I would just want to start day daydreaming and like creating scenarios in my head. Like where I, to a point where I would kind of step away from class for a bit and just put my headphones on and just start daydreaming. Really? What do you listen to? I mean, it's just all trap. Just trap music? Yeah. And it's just me doing like some crazy stuff like Project X type thing. Okay. Yeah. You, you know what you should listen to? What? Listen to some Beethoven fam. Listen yeah. to some like classical music. Yeah. I feel that would that would change your- My whole perspective? Yeah. Your whole perspective. Yeah. Then I think I would start going into like um simp mode. <laughs> simp mode? Yeah. Nah. If I don't I, know. If slow, then I would probably be like, oh, what, what do you do you like daydream to like classical? I don't daydream i daydream to anything Word. i daydream to freaking the fan you know what i mean Word. i daydream to the buzz in my light yeah 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 that's true because that I, at a point i was like yo dad i think i have adhd but he's like no nah, i don't think you have adhd it, can, it can't be adhd though. nah you know who has adhd who sasha she actually has it word yeah that's why she she always interrupts me like you know actually whatever oh. and she's like talking about the bracelet or whatever <laughs> and she has like something in her hand yeah she always has something in her hand oh shit that reminds me of you know she always yeah, does that yeah 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 she actually has it damn bro but i I think it's a gift low-key i think it's yeah. a gift shit like that i can low-key think of it as a superpower because mm -hmm. it's like no one else like only a couple people in the world have that yeah you feel me are you a visual thinker or are you an analytical thinker i like seeing it visually to be honest yeah and yeah actually i'm a good mix of both like i can see it on paper but at this, I, I just like seeing it in front of me mm -hmm. like remember you're coaching me through the movie yeah like i you, you're trying to tell me just verbally mm -hmm. but then once you acted it out then i got it true yeah okay when you think of ideas mm -hmm. you think about it like as a, it plays a scene in your head yeah. or do you think about it as it's like steps no I, I i see it like i literally okay if i see a design i see a person in my hoodie like i dead ass yeah, like, yeah. See, I put it you. on i feel you yeah you feel me i think we think the same then yeah mm -hmm. it's crazy like the mind the mind is crazy but at the same time man i wish i just had one break like for one day i don't think i ever went to sleep just like chilling just chilling like nothing on my mind and i just went to bed I don't think you can, I, I think you can vouch for it too. You're always, there's, I don't think there's one day or like there's only a couple days where you just go to sleep. I'm like, like slacking. No, no. When you're just like thinking of nothing and you just actually get proper sleep. Nah. <laughs> exactly. Nah, that's exactly. probably back in high school or something. Real shit. Because high school doesn't matter. It doesn't. <laughs> high school doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> no it doesn't though it, it does it does it, it it does in the sense it it does in the sense of like get good routine yeah get good routine and at least get good grades like you can't get shit grades you know okay I mean? yeah but what i mean is like it doesn't <laughs> matter is in you can mess up not high school look high school is the time to make mistakes <laughs> yeah you know it actually is that's the time to like 
see where you're lazy, mm-hmm. see where you don't want to do things, right? Yeah. And try a way to fix it. And if you can't <laughs> fix it, then shit, maybe that one, that part wasn't for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's yo, literally it. That's literally it. You know that meme was like that. The, all the teachers always say, "Yo, that shit would slide in university." Yeah, and that's that bullshit. That's some bullshit. <laughs> and then it, the picture of a slide is like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like because it always slides. Honestly, fam, look, I look at it like <laughs> the more and more I see professional people in their in their day to day work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's almost as if it's they're still the same. It's still the same mentality as in high school. It's yeah. just like it's it's wrapped up differently. Yeah, you know it, I mean? it's just you now. Yeah, it's you. You have That's more. It it's it's just your your own story that you can create in university. But in high school, you're living the same dream as everyone. Like yeah, you're doing the same, the same shit. shit. It's the same shit. You just doing homework, blah, yeah. blah, blah. That's why, that's why like I made a bunch of mistakes in university, but I was perfect through high school. Mm. You feel me? I had my routine. I was straight A student. You feel me? But then university, I'm like, once once I didn't, like teachers weren't telling me what to do every day. Yeah. And it was like, now you can just read this, read this. Oh, I can read that later. When? Oh, I can read that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Okay, going back to anxiety, I have I actually have a trick for you okay. what you can use to get out of anxiety anxious state oh bet i need that take this in so this is used by the military this is used by very uh people that meditate a lot yeah so what you do is you breathe in twice through your nose fast and then one slow exhale through your mouth okay take this in right okay now if you bag it we do that naturally when we hyperventilate <sighs> yeah, yeah. When we're right. crying and hyperventilating. Oh shit, you're so right. So our body naturally does that. And yeah. what it does, it slows down our breathing and it makes sure we get more oxygen in and a, at a slower pace out. So Okay, so <sighs> Right? Yeah, you're right. Cuz as a kid, when you're crying, <laughs> yeah, it's exact same shit, exact same shit. And we do it like on autopilot. So like we, we don't, even we didn't, it. yeah, we don't, we don't take it in, but that's what our body tells us to do. Yeah, that's true. Cause I, at the same time, when I'm running, I do that trick where, where every two steps is like, oh, you do that? Yeah, so it's like a rhythm mm. and it calms me down from like, <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, I guess, I guess so. Me? Cause I remember breathing through your nose, out through your mouth. That's what the coach <laughs> always used to say, right? Yeah, yeah. Into your nose, out through your mouth, into Facts. your nose, out through your mouth. And but in swimming, it's different. Mm-hmm. You blow bubbles through your nose and then breathe in through your mouth. So maybe that's why I suck at, at running sometimes. Yeah. I don't suck at running, but like I don't yeah. have as much stamina as swimming. Yeah. Because low key, I can swim hella. Because okay. I grew up a competitive swimmer. Yeah. And I was so used to that breathing technique, mm-hmm. breathing in through my mouth and then bubbles out through my nose. Shit. It's different when you take it to running because it's like the opposite. Oh shit. So it's like it's like opposite. It's weird. I, don't I, know. I never got why they taught us to bu- like bubbles out our nose. Oh, underwater. you know why? No. It's it's to regulate it. To regulate it. Oh, okay. Because if you do it through your mouth. All that shit's dispersed right away. Yeah, because I was in the pool like, like I'm trying to like, like get yeah. on shit. I'm like, why am I doing this? You feel me? It's just it's just putting air out my system faster. Now that's how they do it though. Even um people that I think the guy that held his breath the longest ever yeah in the Guinness World Record book he did a special technique mm-hmm. where he goes. and then he kept doing that, kept doing that, kept doing that for like 15 minutes, yeah. and then he went in. And held his breath so long, oh, longest shit. ever recorded. I think it was like close to thirty minutes, something like that. Who who's that guy that stayed under under ice? Was it or David Blaine? David Blaine. David was that? Blaine. Do you think that was real though? Yeah, I think so. Because David, David Blaine, I've seen crazy magic. Just like he bites into glass and stuff like that. I don't mm. think I think that's real. But like stuff like that, where it's like, bro, I swear he could have died. I think what he does, some things he does is uh, illusion. But some things like those are real stunts. Mm. He does like who because. All these, all these, um, Artists what do you call it, magicians? Yeah. They look up to Henry Houdini. Yeah, yeah. Right? Uh huh. Is his name Henry Houdini? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's his name. <laughs> Loki, we always say like whenever we're mentioning someone, we always say the wrong name. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> it's the cameras are on, so it's more pressure. <laughs> it's not that it's pressure. I just forget. But you know those guys on the the side of the street, the biggest con ever. Which where one? Where it's like you get the the bottle caps, and he's like, "Yo, you want to play a game?" And then one, two, three, and then he puts a marble, and he's like. I would never trust those people, bro. <laughs> if he comes up with you and is like, you want to play a game? He's, he already got your money, yeah. you know? He already got your money. He lets like, you- check your wallet. He probably touched yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, because I, I love, like, Loki, I'm, like, big into, like, scamming documentaries. Yeah. So, I always see is, like, they'll let you pl- win first. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, oh, you want to play again? And then they'll put on the tricks. Word. You know, what I mean? you know who Frank Abagnale is? No. You know who that is? He's the biggest con artist? One of the youngest ever to be on USA's Most Wanted. Shit. So what take do you this do? in. How old, how, how old is he? You you ever watch the movie Catch Me If You Can? Yeah, yeah. With oh, Leonardo DiCaprio? Oh, that was a banger That's movie. Frank Abagnale Jr. Oh, word? So, take this in. He was so good at conning people. Yeah. He was so smart with all of his tricks. There, he was actually um he 
forged checks yeah. and made millions and millions of dollars forging checks, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it was so to the T, like they couldn't crack down on it. Yeah. The FBI ended up hiring him and taking time off his life sentence. <laughs> That's true. Imagine you're that good that the FBI is like, nah, get on my team, fam. That's what I'm saying. That's right? crazy. And also, there's there's stories like that where you hear, um, oh, somebody hacked the Pentagon, right? Like yeah. a hacker hacked the Pentagon. Yeah, like the what do you call those guys in the masks? Uh, anonymous. Anonymous. Right? Always. More times, bro. They get hired by the government, or CIA, whatever, to do that. To do that. Yeah. They get hired because, like, look, I I saw your flaws. That means there are flaws and you need me yeah. to show you the difference. Because it's, it's like a ninja. Even though they may be bad, you want them on your team because they're so good at their art. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And they can defeat the bad guys. Yeah. You know? Wait, did I ever tell you... Um, in the 48 laws of power <laughs> never tell you tell you how you should choose you should hire enemies rather than friends oh oh no you did you did i told and you about at, that at right first i was like yeah i didn't get that because a friend would ride out if okay let's say i get in a fight yeah right my friends i'm trusting because that's my friend mm -hmm. to ride out for me an enemy in my head walk away from the fight i didn't see nothing let him get beat up you think so yeah no but if you're hiring it's different in that case yeah i guess okay, in that yeah, case yeah. i guess yeah but in a sense of in a sense of like you're hiring somebody for a position mm -hmm. it's actually smarter to hire an enemy than somebody you already know you know why yeah i didn't get that no so take this in an enemy right yeah let's say let's say you're enemies with somebody mm -hmm. and then you give him an opportunity to bring him under your wing right yeah and give him something that he can't get yeah that's true. he will do everything in his bone to try and impress you and show him show himself that he's not the enemy. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's going to create this like fake. He's going to work harder than your friend. Than your friend that already knows you and is like, oh yeah, like, yeah, you're, he's, he's, my yeah, 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 yeah. he's my exactly. boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to work that hard. Mm -hmm. Right? So take this in. You know, whenever um your parents have somebody over and yeah. then you got to clean the house and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you got to prep because you're having guests over. Yeah. You got to clean the house. You got to clean the house, right? Uh -huh. So take that in. For a stranger, we work harder. But for somebody we already know and we're close with, oh, we don't work as hard. Yo, you're right. Right? <laughs> You're right. Because I'm like, because if I'm in the house, I'm like, yeah, I don't know this person a lot. So mm -hmm. might as well put a good impression. So if it's just your friend, low key, he could work less than somebody that's your enemy, quote unquote enemy yeah. and wants to prove himself to you because he's constantly seeking that validation from you. Yeah. So in a sense, he becomes your friend, but even loyal, like more loyal oh, in that sense. Right. Because yeah. if you hire an enemy, you know, he's an enemy, period. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, he's an enemy. So you're going to you're going to have your eye on him mm -hmm. already. But he's going to do a lot to, to change that, to that try and change that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's cool. Because I, I never understood the, the keep your friends close, but enemies closer. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, it doesn't make sense because I, I just want to cut those people out of my life. Yeah. But, but at the end of the day, they maybe they do come in handy sometimes. Yeah. But what sucks is that like, I don't I don't think I have any enemies. That's the only problem. Word. I don't have any. Enemies. Definitely. There's definitely people that hate you. There's 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 probably enemies, but I don't know them. But, but like rivalries, yeah, you don't know them. Yeah, I don't know them. That's the only yeah. problem. Yo, if your enemy just hit me up in the DMs, like you can chop it up. <laughs> we can like get a little battle going. Yeah, that ass. That's crazy, no. But no, Loki, I I I work better when I know it's like people are hating on me. You think so? Yeah. Cause if I'm always loved, then I feel like I'm gonna be like chilling. Like, yo, people love me already. I can always think. Yeah, that's that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. But I, I always make sure, like, if somebody hates, like, I, I just don't even pay attention. You know what I never got? Why does YouTube have a dislike button? Oh, no, that that's just to, like, make whatever content is good up, whatever sucks low. It's oh. kind of like Reddit. Yeah, because at the same time, like, bro, why would you um encourage, like, a dislike? Because I, I still don't get the fact where you can really sit in your computer and hit the dislike button. No, but... Yeah, that's true. So like, like if you really bag it, like... In, unless it's something to actually dislike, though. Yeah, yeah. But, like, fam... If we're if just for that, everybody hit the like yeah, button right now. Hit, <laughs> hit, that, hit that like button. Go hit that fan. We need that. We need that. Imagine like being so mad about something. Like even the video is about pure positivity. It depends. You're gonna, you're gonna think. I know. It depends. Some people are just like that. But I think what it what it's there for yeah. is to just like balance out what what's good content, what's shit content. You know what yeah. I mean? That's crazy. I, I remember you had your little run on Reddit too. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. <laughs> Bro, Loki, you've been on hella like platforms. <laughs> like, I forgot about that. Like you actually had a good run on Reddit too. <laughs> it wasn't no like one picture blow up. It was like it was like three pictures that were like getting they went like, viral on TikTok. Yeah. I mean uh, on Reddit. <laughs> on Reddit, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> this guy, whenever he steps in front of anything, it's viral. <laughs> you feel me? No, but that that's the thing. You just gotta you got because I study it, right? Yeah. I study it. Put me in any situation, I'm gonna learn it. Yeah. Right. And that's what I that's what I really pride myself in mm -hmm. is because I know some people can be more 
book smart. Yeah. But I'm gonna be smarter in the sense that, okay, put me into something new, I'll learn it. I'll learn it faster than you. Word. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm t- I'm chilling. Word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, t- I'm learning as the exact same time as you. I don't want to be ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's the thing. Like, like if if I have competition ahead of me, mm-hmm. whoever's in front of me, right? And they hop into a, let's say a new a new way to market yeah. or a new way to do business, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna see that, learn it quick, mm-hmm. be on the same level. Yeah. Instead of me like, damn, I gotta learn, I gotta learn, and it takes me longer. Yeah. I'm gonna be faster than that. Yeah. Gotta be just. It has to be like that. If you want to keep up, you gotta be just like that. That's the entrepreneur <laughs> mindset. Mindset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, there's stuff in school that obviously uh and the accounting problem is sometimes it's boring Mm -hmm. but there's some topics that really grasp me and i'm like okay i actually want to learn this now Mm -hmm. you feel me and those are the best feelings like fraud i love learning about fraud yeah (laughs) i'm in i'm in that fraud the forensic class asking bare questions about like yo like who who did the biggest fraud? Word, <laughs> and teachers yeah. like yo, not now, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yo, you know what I do now? What? Whenever I go into like a public setting and I see people like have a conversation, I always ask them now because they always ask me. You chime in? Yeah. What, what do you mean? To random conversation? No, no. Like if I'm okay. in a conversation. Oh, okay. If okay. I'm in a conversation, what do you do? Because people always ask me like, oh, yo, tell me a theory, tell me a theory. <laughs> so I, I flip it on them now. Yeah. I'm like, yo, you tell me a theory. <laughs> I want I want to hear what you have to say, right? Yeah, yeah. So take this in. So shout out Monica. She actually told me this. Oh shit. Okay. You ever hear about the Amelia Earhart theory? I know Amelia Earhart. No, I haven't heard that theory though. You know who that is? Yeah, yeah. She's like the first like female pilot, yeah, right? Yeah, female pilot. So take this in. The, the common theory is, oh, she disappeared, right? She went into the Bermuda Triangle, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So take this in, bro. What? She might have actually crash landed on an island and survived. And survived? And survived. So take this in, bro. So look, look, look. So there were pictures that came out, I think not too long ago. It was secret CIA pictures, whatever. Yeah. And it showed an image in the Marshall Islands of two people, two pilots that look like Amelia Earhart and the person she was riding with. Whoa. So take this in. Where she was, they ended up making stamps, like, you know, postage stamps yeah, yeah, yeah. with Amelia Earhart on it. What? With Amelia Earhart on it. And they even made one of the plane crashing and saying that's when they landed. Whoa. So so th- that's them. That's the island telling them, yo, Amelia Earhart was here. Was here, yeah. Was they have here. Her, they have and, and she survived, right? Yeah. So the what they're saying is that she survived but what happened was she was taken as a prisoner of war because during the time I think Japan yeah. they were in control of the islands right Yeah, and they pretty much took her as a prisoner because they thought she was a spy like an American spy oh, so that's why we never heard of her ever again she just vanished. Yeah. She probably died in the prison camp. Shit, bro. So crazy. There, that's crazy. So there, there was like two of her. No, no. The, it was her. And, and some clone. No, it was her and somebody that was with and her. somebody, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's fucked. Yeah, so so she didn't actually disappear, fam. Like, she, she was there. What? But nobody... A lot of people refuse to believe that, though. Yeah. A lot of people still don't believe, like, that's what happens here. No, but it makes sense, though, because, like, where did she go after? Like, she, okay, she flew a plane. Where, where did she go after? Yeah, that's what you people... You know what I mean? Yeah. There's no, there's no ending to the story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can say she went into Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, like, Malaysian Airlines. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> no, do you think the, the actual, like, the Bermuda Triangle, like, you actually get lost in there? I think so. The, the, I, the, I never got that concept. There's a weird thing where... um the compasses don't work or your your navigation systems, they get fluctuated. Yeah, but if you keep going in like a straight line, wouldn't you make your way out? I don't know. I don't know. That's why That's why I'm all, that always runs through my mind. You know mind. why though? Because the waves are so, it's so unpredictable. Yeah. So it pushes you into different areas you don't know. And like, look, water, yeah. when it's just open sea, it all looks the same, bro. Yeah. Feel me? True. It all looks the same. You don't know if you're facing north, west, or whatever, unless you have a navigation system. Yeah. So I'm guessing like, I guess when you get into that triangle, you either land because you're not going to run out. Of, you're going to run out of gas soon time. Yeah. Or you just keep going until you run out of gas and then you fall. Yeah. So I'm just like that, bro. And that kind of makes sense then. Yeah. So she she definitely landed somewhere or crashed somewhere. Yeah. So that's what they're saying is that. I know. Or she ended up on like Madagascar or some shit. The homies like King Lemur and the yeah. <laughs> King Julian. <laughs> but, but but going back to since uh, I remember you were talking about um how Sasha has ADHD. Yeah. The first thing that popped in my mind, you know, um Leo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. He has PTSD. Why? You heard you heard that theory before? Like Leo Leonardo. Yeah, Leo Leonardo, the blue one. Wait, he has PTSD. How? Yeah, yeah. So in season four, they fought against Shre- Shredder, right? Yeah. And then um after after usually like battles like that they almost died mm. right and then throughout the show he's like uptight he's on guard what? and then he's always like short tempered and you know and like the, the guy who directed it yeah. wants to show more of like a realization and wait he, is this in the original one or yeah. like uh the newer one where we grew up on no it's the older one the old old one yes yeah, the older one and okay. you can see in scenes where he's like 
he's panicking all the time and shit like that. Because really? after, after you almost die, you're, you're traumatized from that, fam. Yeah. And like heroes usually in other movies, they don't get, tra- like after battles, they're fine. Yeah, that's the thing, right? You know I mean? we, we, we never see, that's why what's sick with the Marvel when, when, um, when Tony Stark, he, he went into that black hole oh, and yeah. he got PTSD in yeah. Iron Man 3, you remember? Exactly. But, but we never usually see that because like fam, yeah. after, after you die, dog, you get traumatized from yeah, that. Yeah, it's not talked about to be honest. Yeah, yeah that's not really talked about. Yeah. Like, Imagine Kill Bill. Mm-hmm. She had to murder all those people. Imagine her conscience after that. After, yeah. But she was a killer, though. That's the thing. It's a different. You like, think killers get traumatized, though? I think I think there's a point where they don't even care no more Word. on some dark shit, though. Because like like remember when we were watching that um the Serbian film? Oh yeah. That that's traumatized me, fam. Yeah. And imagine I watched that at like a such a young age. I would never forget that shit. Mm. Like that night, I didn't sleep. Yeah. Because I always think yeah whenever whenever I see a horror movie and yeah. then that image gets into my head. Mm-hmm. I hate it because it always comes back when I least want to think about it. Yeah. Like when I'm trying to fall asleep or like when I'm in a dark place, you know, yeah. you get that eerie feeling. Yeah. And then all those, all of those little subconscious, like it brings you back up. Yeah. Like, oh, remember this scene in that I movie? <laughs> like, bro, after, after like I get those traumatizing moments, mm-hmm. I always have to go to something. My main, my main one is like, I always watch Toy Story. Why Toy Story? Because it's such a comforting, like it reminds me of my childhood when I was chilling. Where? Right? Right? Toy Story. So I, have you ha- ever had like a traumatizing experience where like you had to go to your like comfort? Like what, what do you do? What do I do when I get like traumatized, fam? I don't know. If I or got... have you, have? do you remember a time where you like got really traumatized? Traumatized? Yeah. Here's the thing. Yeah. I was in a car accident like long time ago. I think grade seven. You were? Yeah. I didn't even know about this. Long time ago. Okay. But I think that made me scared of being in an accident again. Just because it was that that first moment of, oh shit, am I gonna die right now? Oh shit. And I g- really got that feeling of, okay, what's crazy? Mm-hmm. What's crazy is everything felt so normal, like everything's rainbows and sunshine yeah. until that moment and it came out of nowhere. Yeah. Because I wasn't even looking. I was like, I think I was playing on my Game Boy or some shit. Mm-hmm. I didn't even notice. And then boom, all of a sudden, boom, we're yeah, in a shock. wreck. We're in yeah. a wreck. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Adrenaline's rushing through. And then that's the moment I'm like, fuck, am I going to die right now? And that's the first moment I ever felt that. It felt like I was literally going to leave my body. I don't know how to, I don't know how, how to explain it, but it yeah. felt like I wasn't, I wasn't all there. Shit, you know? bro. Is that, that's not the reason why you don't want to get your, like, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's <laughs> not, like, I, I, I drove after that. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. I still got my license. I still you're drove right. after that. You're right. You're right. No, but that, that's why I'm, that's why I'm so safe with driving though. Mm. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, watch out for that. Whatever. Blah, blah. Yeah. You are, you are a passenger uh, seat uh, driver. Backseat driver, backseat driver. But I'm, I'm a good one though. Yeah, I'm, I'm not like a. Yeah. Cause some people, bro, like I, I hate those guys who are like, yo, 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 slow down. Like, bro, I'm going this, the, the right speed speeds yeah like carlos will be like yo make sure yo make a left here bro mm-hmm. just in case you feel me yeah <laughs> okay, okay it's calm you feel me but yeah exactly i won't i won't st- i never stress anybody even with coaching too that's so important with coaching people yeah because i was a swim i was a swim instructor right yep. yo can you please comment if anybody <laughs> if anybody watches the podcast that actually actually taught swimming because i want to know i actually want to know yeah yeah but anyways i was a swim coach and one thing you really have to do is you got to really work at their pace mm-hmm. you got to find out like Okay, Gavin's kind of this type of character. If I push him too much in this kind of setting, he's gonna break down. He's gonna break, or he's not gonna learn as well. Yeah. Right. So some people you gotta bring in, and you gotta give them that sense of like, you gotta give them that sense of like, okay, everything's okay, don't worry, blah yeah. blah. But some people they need to be pushed. Yeah. So for me, whenever I wanted to learn something, I love being pushed because that brings me to like motivation. Mm-hmm. Right. So whenever I wanted to get better at something, I needed that like. Yo, that shit sucked. You gotta, you gotta do it like this. You gotta, you gotta be better. Blah blah. blah. I want to see it like this instead. Yeah. Just stirring straight up, mm-hmm. and I feel like that's how I learn the best. Yeah. But that's not for everybody. Yeah, because you have. To, that's a good coach though, because you have to make sure once you go through that experience. Because mm-hmm. I remember I was, I was basketball refereeing. Right. Yeah. This was probably the worst experience of my life. <laughs> imagine, imagine being at an FBA tournament mm. with all the fil- moms, dads shouting at you because you didn't oh, put a call. Oh, bare politics. Fam, and I, I, they, they didn't train me right yeah i was shadowing so i'm like oh shit what do i call what do i call <laughs> and then the guy's like you fucking suck my 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 little son can ref better than you i was taking shit from yeah, left yeah, ear yeah. right ear right and now my every ref i go to most respect like i don't mm-hmm. once i'm when i'm playing in the game i never curse at a ref because yeah. i know how that feels you know how that felt you, you <laughs> yeah. have to go through that experience to like to know what they're going through where that, fun, that makes fam. sense that's true like it got to a point fam where they took me out of the game really like and they made me sit on the, the bench i that was the most ex- embarrassing really like i do, don't want to experience that again damn 
Yeah. That's yeah, but it's not your fault if you didn't they didn't train they didn't properly. Train me right, it's fam. And I did all that for like five hours on my high school for to get the hours, you know? Yeah. It was only like five hours. See, there, here's a good way to look at it, because I feel like you can never let the outside perspective affect you because they don't know enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how that's how I, I, I really train myself. Like you can say whatever you want, but you don't actually know how it is. Yeah. I mean, that's why I never care if like somebody's hating yeah. or somebody thinks something's whack, or whatever. They can laugh all they want. I already know, like, I trust in myself. This shit's gonna work out. Yeah. It's not gonna work out for you because you're fucking hating. Mm. You yeah, know? but you have that mindset though. Not everyone has that mindset. That's why they fucking suck, bro. And no, but that's what I'm saying. Like, no, for those people to yeah. combat it, right? Okay. To combat it. Because yes. that's gonna happen no matter what. There's gonna be people that say whatever bullshit they wanna say. But look, look, look. If you let that shit affect you, mm -hmm. then it's gonna affect you. You know what I mean? It's like if, if you let it, if you let it be. It's going to dig down, down into you. It's going to rip you apart. It's going to like whatever. Mm -hmm. Instead of letting that affect you, you got to build up a shield, bro. Yeah. Even even if you if, if that's just like not seeing it at all, that right? Shit. That's why a lot of people say don't read comments if on your contents, shit like that. I yeah. still read the comments because I'm I'm mentally like, fuck the haters, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. No, that makes sense, bro. Because um, if you go to our, sh on our main channel, it's all positive. Yeah. But if you go to our short channel, it's toxic fam yeah, and yeah i run that one so i read all the comments oh really fam, it's bad it's like yo these two i love how these two are are disappointing their ancestors i'm like what, what? bro like bro, let me <laughs> <laughs> like i don't have that shield no, yet like but I'm, to me, I'm with to, to, to me it's funny because because i look at it differently right yeah. they say that and i'm like damn so so that's how he feels about himself that's how i think yeah, of it instead yeah. I, that's how i think of yeah. it instead because <laughs> nobody's gonna comment that unless they feel a little bit about themselves you know yeah, yeah. like damn that guy's going through it still like yeah. who hurt you fam that's the best comeback because i remember somebody because i used to make tiktoks of me doing like fit pics and shit right <laughs> yeah, yeah. and some mans were hating because Lots. i get bare views more than that yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so they're hating and i and i seen this one guy and he says some bullshit uh -huh. and i'm like damn bro who hurt you I'm here for you. Don't worry. <laughs> That's what I told him. I told him that shit. Yeah. And like, he had no comeback. He didn't know what to say, bro. He was pissed though. Yeah. He, he comments. He comments on next bullshit. You just still hating. Yeah. That's why I kill him with kindness, fam. Yeah. That's, that's the worst. If you if you hit a man with um, uh, they're they're shouting at you, they're shouting you. Oh God, God bless you, son. Have a nice day. Yeah. They're like what? <laughs> yeah. They hate that. They hate yeah. that. But that's the best way to deal with it because it's like, um, man, more and more as I grow up, yeah. you know how they say you gotta you gotta look up to Jesus and walk in Jesus' light. Yeah, yeah. That's the same shit. Turn the other cheek, you know. Yeah. And bro, honestly, the more and more and more I grow up, I want to be more like Jesus, <laughs> in the sense of like, in the sense of like, I want to be that person that's like, nah, don't worry. Yeah. I'm here for you, whatever. Yeah. And at the same time, like you hate on me, that's okay, bro. I understand yeah. you. I'm, I'm not. I'm not mad at you. Yeah, that makes sense, bro. I used to always be the the number one thing about me. My personality was like revenge, get revenge. But I seen a comment. I thought you commented on their own picture, but because it had your profile pic. Oh, but it was like it was like don't go looking for revenge. Like the person that that flawed you will like r r screw up soon time. And like if you're lucky, God will let you see. And I was like, damn, Carlos, that's hard. But then but it was wasn't like, me. It was, <laughs> there was some other Carlos. Oh, so some guy that used my profile pic. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Like, oh I'm like, damn, you guys are really spitting. <laughs> like, you guys are really trying to be Carlos. That, that, no, that's what I love, though, is because they take they take my mindset, right? And then they flip it on their own. Yeah. And then they see their, their own view on it. Yeah. And then they still speak facts, too. That's what's dope, bro. I, that's why I love my supporters so much. Yeah, yeah. Our supporters are crazy, man. So sick. Like, no matter what, bro, I know whoever I influence, whoever I did good, mm -hmm. they're going to do amazing things rather than the negative things. Yeah. I don't want to see any negativity yeah. as long as i see the positive i did my job yeah. right i know just just thinking of the fact that you can really influence a person without even knowing them is the craziest feeling yeah. and i haven't got those um the, the actual in-person interactions with people telling me but mm -hmm. i get dms all the time and mm -hmm. it warms my heart fam yeah like, that real. shit's crazy real and it's 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 so hard too because like i try and reply to everybody there's so much there's though. so there's much, so, much. so yeah. i'm so sorry if i haven't replied to you yet yeah. I try and reply to everybody. I yeah. promise. I try and reply to everyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? what? Are, you <laughs> Are you just looking at me like that? Are you laughing? <laughs> no. It's just, sometimes you get like fucking heartwarming, bro. Yeah. I like those I moments, know. bro. It feels like Christmas. Yeah, you shit. know those ones, those things I look on YouTube too. The guy from the, a foster care meets his like biological brother, and they finally meet up for oh, the first time. Shit, those no, always got me in tears, fam. I remember <laughs> it was like yesterday. Me and my mom just stumbled across a YouTube video, yeah. and, and my mom was like, "Yo, Gavin, I need a tissue." I'm like, "Yeah, me too." <laughs> really? <laughs> Okay, well, what's one movie that actually made you cry? Oh, um, it's the it's the adoption movie. 
uh, Better Family or something like that. I never watched that. So the the whole plot was um. There oh, was, was like, it the the Dora girl in it? Yeah, the Dora yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About, the yeah. Dora girl. So like the whole plot is like she's a really bad kid. Yeah. And like she hates everything until she like like gets adopted and like finally finds the true meaning of like family. Mm -hmm. And that instant shit, family. Instant family. That's instant family. One. That's the one. And like I use that fam. After uh, what do you call this? I use that just to if I needed a time to cry, I would always go to that. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. If I need to let go of something, I would just watch the movie. <laughs> Word, yeah. That's how impactful it is to me, bro. And I'm like, shit. Maybe I might adopt a kid in the future, fam. Because that's a really yeah. That's a, that's a, that's the whole point of the movie to 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 like inspire you guys to. Because mm -hmm, like, there's adopt. a lot of people that need others. Yeah, you know what I mean, and you know, I'm have like, someone there. Because we're like, so we're so privileged to actually have that. Yes, bro. Like it's that's that's some real shit. Like. We're actually mad privileged. Yeah. And I know I'm privileged. That's the thing. But some people they don't know. Yeah. They don't know how much you actually have. Yeah. I know. And then you're 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 freaking like worried about you're worried about a caption that didn't yeah. sound good on your Instagram. Yo, just remember all the shit that you have already. When I when I went to the Philippines, fam, and I was going to Jollibee, I seen like under the bridge bare kids sleeping just under a bridge while while the cars are, are going through like over mm -hmm. them yeah. and that's all they hear all day they have nothing to eat fam and i remember there was a kid at church that was selling flowers right mm -hmm. trying to get his money up right and then my, my, my dad gave him like five dollars he said keep the flowers you can sell it right yeah security guard came up to him he saw him snagged him really ripped all the flowers and shit. why I'm, i don't know I don't know. I'm like, bro, I, I guess it's trespassing, but just just push him out the area. Don't don't take his flowers. Yeah. Like, and I felt I remember just looking at him. I, was, I felt so bad, bro. Damn. And whenever I'm feeling like I know I'm spoiled. So I always just always calm myself and like with that m memory. Yeah. Because we have so much, man. There's yeah. there's nothing to be sad about, to be honest. There's there's things to, to be worried about, yeah. but nothing to be like depressed about. Because yeah. there's this thing there's, it will always come back up. Yeah. Right. As long as you push yourself to come back up, you can never stay in that dark place forever. Yeah, real shit. If you've seen the mud, that's only way. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why one of my favorite things is starting up a new project yeah. where I have zero followers. Yeah. And then I see all, I see like, I, I look at Weco Studios, the podcast, yeah, everything. Yeah. It's like the Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> the influence from this, the yeah. influence from this, the influence from this. All right, we're all going to work together and bring up this. <laughs> Loki, that's kind of fire. Right? Is that your whole like movement? Yeah, that's that's what I try to do. That's cool. No, because I remember starting this podcast and like I was I was down on myself. I'm like, okay, yo, let's see where this goes. But you were so excited for some reason when we because I already knew, bro. Yeah, you're like you're like I think what you told me is like don't don't think about it like of the numbers. We're already a million like sub channel. We just don't have it yet. I yeah. Think. Okay. I I never say I never say this because this is too cocky. But yeah. this is what I always say in my head. Mm -hmm. I'm the greatest podcast host ever. Yeah. People just don't know that yet. Mm, yeah. Or I just haven't showed them that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So always think about that in your head. Like, that's the goal. That's where I'm going to be. Mm -hmm. Just people haven't noticed yet. Yeah. And that's how I always say, whenever I want to whenever I want to be like uh, amped up going into a social setting, oh, yeah? I tell this to myself. I tell them, I tell myself, I'm the coolest person they'll ever meet. Mm. They just didn't know yet. Oh, I should start telling myself that, bro. Because cause me, I just think of, of my extrovert cousin mm -hmm. and then I just say, I'm him. And then I go in. Oh, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm like, yo, I'm an extrovert. I'm an extrovert. I can do this easy. No, but I try and manifest it too. Cause I want to be, I literally want to be the coolest person you ever met. Yeah. Cause that's a different objective. Like you want to impress <laughs> yeah. them. No, I'm not trying to impress them, but okay, just, yeah. just to put that, just put that in their head. Like yeah. looking back now, oh, shit, maybe he was that guy, yeah. you know? Cause even in the past, you may have met me before, mm -hmm. but I am still cooler now. You know <laughs> <laughs> really? You met me before. But yeah, yeah I'm cooler now. Yeah, that means true. I'm the coolest person you ever met. Oh. Eh? That's cool too. But that's just me being looking like big headed on the inside. But I don't show that on the outside. You don't you never show yeah. that. Which is good. You gotta keep that that's what I'm saying. You always you gotta keep that shit to yourself because I don't wanna say, say that out loud. Because once you open your mouth and start talking, then people turn you into the, you know, the braggart egotistical yeah, Jake, that's, Jake Paul. That's, that's not what it's about. That's not a, that, that's why I never show it because I don't want people to be like that. Yeah, that's true. But it is it is necessary. That's why that's why I think Conor McGregor is so successful why? because he's that type of character. He just shows it on the outside. Yeah. Look at Mike Tyson, same thing before, but now he holds it on the inside. You can still be that person. You don't have to promote it though. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have to promote being egotistical. You don't have to promote being this guy that's so big at it, blah, 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 right? Yeah. Cause I feel like Cause I don't want I don't want that you know I don't want, I don't want that I don't want a movement of that because I feel like those guys who who are big headed mm -hmm. get way more like recognition like media coverage all of that because they're starting some shit you but think like, so but like the guys who who promote positivity they don't get enough because it's like uh, no one wants to hear about positivity nah maybe you're just looking at the wrong media then uh, bro you see all the beefs that come on 
like Twitter stuff like that. That's all promoted. But you're you're looking at that though. Some people don't follow those accounts. Mm. You're looking at the wrong things then. Yeah, but it will go trending. So you're you're telling you're telling me you're telling me freaking Jeff Bezos isn't more impactful than those people. Name me one beef Jeff Bezos was in. Feel me? Yeah. You get what I mean? That's true. Like Ariana Grande, you're saying Ariana Grande is not as impactful. Name one beef, fam. You're just looking in the wrong areas. Yeah. That's the thing. If you want, look, look, look. whatever you consume is what you become, bro. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell you straight up. If you're consuming the wrong shit, you're going to end up being like them. Yeah. Right. Whether that be good or bad for you, because that, that's what you like. That's what, that's what's fine. You know? Yeah. But for me, I always try to, I sift out like you know those freaking the yeah. sandcastle shit <laughs> yeah, with the grater. Yeah. I sift out like ah, oh, I gotta get this nasty shit, get it out of there. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm I'm glad that because I told my sister I was like because she doesn't have social media, mm -hmm. so I'm like, bro, don't get social media because I I knew what it did to me. Mm -hmm. Just don't let it do it. Like don't get see because that. that's that's what I keep preaching, bro. Like yeah. if you get caught up in that, that's the system. Yeah. yeah. If you want to break the system, you're gonna stop thinking about cashes everything around blah 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 you know i know i know if you want to break the system but if you want to play part then play part i'm too deep in bro i'm too deep in and i know it too no but, but like, you don't have it. to you don't have to but it only takes you to to decide whether or want you want to you want to take that that route in life you know yeah. but playing part of the system is fun too bro i'm not it's, <laughs> it's, it's never it's never bad because yeah, it's like what do you want me to do? delete instagram i can't no fam. no and that's not what i'm saying yeah that's what i'm saying but look look let's say let's say everybody all the songs on the on on um all the songs like coming out right now yeah. all about what like sex, sex money drugs, drugs money. right yeah that doesn't have to be your life if you don't want it to be bro listen to in country music i realize <laughs> you get me though you get me the people listen to country music they don't they don't know anything about that I remember my mom always told me when I was little, don't listen to that rap music because then you're going to turn into that, you know. Exactly. No, but it's true. But it's so true. I didn't. But it's true. I didn't get it. I still love it. I yeah. still love it. I'm not going to stop listening to it. But I do I do take that initiative yeah. to know like, okay, yeah, that maybe that's not so good for me. Yeah. Right? But it drives my materialistic like ways, my money chasing For sure. Ways. For yeah. sure. You yeah. know, greed and stuff like that. But man, it's like, I'm too deep in. That's all I listen to, bro. You, you, maybe you just need to try some new things, fam. Yeah, maybe I have to uh, reset my palate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll try. Try some, try some new things. Yeah. Listen to like, Beethoven, I don't know. country. <laughs> Sometimes listen to Blues. dubstep, bro. <laughs> I used no, to be the biggest fan of Me too, me too. Yeah. I listen, I used to slam that shit like yeah. all the time, bro. What's that? A cinema bow wow. Skrillex, Skrillex. Yeah, yeah. I used to fucking try to like hand touch to that thing, you know? Yeah. Oh my God, it was the most fun time. And the more, yo, because do you ever ask people what are your favorite music? Like what, what? I mean, what type of music do you listen to? Do you ever ask people that? No. Why I not? No, because like, you know, the man's in the car where like we always just... If, if you're in a car with your boys, you're going to bump the, the general everyone likes it music, the rap, Where? right? Yeah. But like Loki, yeah, I've, I've never asked when when you get home, what do you listen to? I Okay, I know what you listen to because you were playing it in the car with Dino. Yeah, like, no, that's not all I listen to, yeah. though. That's not because, you know, I listen to, to Trap too. You know, I listen yeah. to even throwback, hip hop, whatever. Yeah, but I, I don't ask like, uh, let's say like all my close friends. I don't know what they listen to. When? Why not though? I don't know. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> you don't care. Oh, true, true. I, I don't care. Yeah, yeah that makes Still sense. That makes care. sense. <laughs> Still don't care. No, because for me, like, I think it, I think it's fun because I get to see like their personality and how it how it it, it reflects. Or because it's so it's so real, bro. Yeah, you really do see the personality in music. Yeah, you do. so you do definitely see me with the trap, bro. With yeah, the trap and rap. I, and then I see like some people that listen to more a boogie. They're a little bit more emotional. You know? Oh <laughs> no, no facts. You feel no, me, people who listen to a boogie are hella emotional because because his songs lock in and just talk no, about. No, but they're real good stuff. though. They're yeah. good. Because whenever I wanted, bro, that's the best thing. Because whenever I wanted to um like get into my emotional bag, yeah, oh, it's seven a.m. convo. Where? That's oh no! It's it's a three minute convo. That's yeah, my yeah, favorite yeah. song. Okay, bro, this is this is your homework then. This is okay, your homework. Bet, 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 bet. Just go out, find me like three different new genres. <laughs> three genres. Okay. Three new genres, and then find a banger from E. Bro, I'm getting so, more homework. So this is your homework. Country music. <laughs> I don't even listen to that. No, no, country, no. Actually, no, no, no. Maybe not. not. Yeah. But no, no hate on it. But like, yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. Let, let's let's make it a challenge. One track, one classical music track, okay, one okay. country track, and one let's say classical. Okay. And let's say uh, EDM. Let's say EDM. EDM. I think I can it's do like EDM. techno, or whatever. Okay, that's less. Right. But I'll come back and and I'll tell you about it still. Yeah. <laughs> and then let's see let's see if it changes your mind. Yeah. <laughs> you, you'll play this. You know you know that meme where they had uh, the guy from Arthur. Which one? They, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and, he's like, and he like floats yeah. in the, the music <laughs> but that might be you bro that actually okay. might be you a lot it's like my morals completely changed <laughs> yeah. it's like yo I, I don't care about money no more it bro. awakens you it awakens you. whoa <laughs>
I come no, nah, but low key fam. I like I like the dynamic that goes on between us because mm. it's like you're different than me. So yeah. what, what if I listen to country and this and that and then I become this? Oh, money doesn't matter. <laughs> Live happy. You feel know I me? Mean? Like low key, I like my personality. Words. Uh, you're saying you're saying you never want to change from who you are. No, I like I like myself right now. I remember um one question you asked at the cottage was yeah, so yeah. low key depressing because our friend had a, a weird answer. He's like, mm -hmm. Yo, would you ever want a second one of you? Word. And then I was like, Hell yeah, I would want. Yeah. And then like the guy was like. Our friend was like, no, probably not. I was like, yo, that's kind of sad. I know bro. that was kind of sad. <laughs> I, like all men just stop talking. You're like, you are you good? <laughs> <laughs> no, but then then it then maybe that's yeah. Because look, saying that you wouldn't want a second of you yeah. is like saying you hate yourself. You hate yourself, fam. That's, so that's like, why dark. would you not want you? It's kind of dark. Because like, if if I had me, I would be the happiest person on earth. Because I've yet to find a real person. That matches my energy. Word. Have you found a, a person that matches your energy like all the time? No, but it, it, I, I feel like that's impossible. It's, it's impossible. That's impossible. Yeah. But you can get kind of close to it. Have you found a, a guy kind of close to it? What do you say, Josh? Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Josh can. But we're so much alike in the sense of like interest, everything like that. Yeah, yeah. But personality is always different. Yeah, that's true. I feel like personality is always different. Mm -hmm. Just even upbringing, because nobody has the same experiences, bro. Yeah. So there's never going to be somebody that grew up exactly like you. You're right. You're right. It's impossible. It's impossible. I know. Like, nobody's going to remember, like, your your Lola's macaroni tasting like that. And then after you play video games, <laughs> no one's going to remember that feeling, you know? <laughs> Only you have those experiences. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's why when clone that cloning, like, machine comes out, fam, I'm number one in line, fam. Mm. Sign me up. <laughs> so I, I can get two guys. For Gavin. cloning. Yeah, I'll start my own podcast, fam. For cloning. Yes, you're going to clone yourself? Yes, wouldn't you? I don't think I would clone myself, bro. Wow, that's that's scary. scary. No, hell no, I would. That's do that. scary. Cause knowing me, I would take over the world, fam. No, but what if your what if what if your clone becomes the new Gavin, and he murders you? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's a possibility. That's a possibility, oh, and I will never know. I'm like, oh yeah, I think it's the same guy. Bro, this guy has to ruin all, everything, bro. <laughs> this guy ruins all the fun with his theories, bro. Like what? Like I'm not even thinking about. It's that. more fun like this. It's more fun like yeah, this. Like what are you gonna do, bro? What are you gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, how you, what, what precautions are gonna take to make sure that doesn't happen? Because <laughs> in my head, me and my my clone are having the best time ever, but this guy's head flips it. Nah, he's killing you in your sleep. Fam. What? <laughs> what? No, because because what if what if um clone Gavin gets jealous because you're dealing with a girl that likes him? Oh my god! But you guys are the same. Alive? So there's definitely gonna be a jealousy there. And knowing you, yeah, Loki, I don't think. Definitely. Looking at looking at that side, I mean, yeah, definitely though. You you predicted that perfect. <laughs> <laughs> like eventually, you'd be like, "Damn, I don't." Nah. I would get so mad, fam. Yeah. I'd be like, "Yo, can we at least like have days where we can switch?" Yeah, yeah exactly, so exactly. Because I don't. I, that's what I look at. I don't know if I would really want it for sure. Yeah, just because of that reason. Because what if I, what if oh Carlos one goes missing and Carlos two takes over? <laughs> I remember we were talking about like um back then it was like, "Yo, what would you name your baby?" It was like Child One, <laughs> Child One, <laughs> Child Two. <laughs> That was the most outrageous thing you've ever said in your life. <laughs> like, imagine your wife just like, yo, what do you know? Name it. Eh, child one. <laughs> that's, that's worse than e Elon's kid. Like. No, but I, I didn't actually. No, because our friend's name is Chidi. So yeah. in, in uh, autocorrect, it changed it to child one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's where you got it yeah. from? I was like, yo, the, the best name, the best name ever, Chidi. Like the most interesting name I ever heard, Chidi. Yeah, yeah. And it autocorrected child, child one. one. <laughs> but that's actually a mad... Like unique name, child yeah. one, never been heard, never <laughs> been heard stupid, before. Fam. <laughs> no. Like, 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 oh, what do you call this? Four y'all said, like, imagine going through all that labor just to name it a dumb name. <laughs> it's like Bart. <laughs> yeah, I remember they said Bart, but child one is like, put me back in the womb, dog. <laughs> you, you see the the RDC World one? Which one? It's like they they made fun of all the celebrities naming their kids. One of them was oh yeah, three fifty oven. <laughs> Me and my sister always always quote that shit every single time. <laughs> no, the, 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 of it. the recent one they have is like the bots on the Instagram pages. It's like, oh, yeah. you like, check out my profile. <laughs> no, it's like they're at a funeral. I was like, I have a nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! They actually click the link in my bio. <laughs> Oh my God. All right, we'll wrap it up there. Yeah, we'll All right, up. thank you everyone for watching this episode of Jumpers <laughs> Jump. Check out the links in the description if you want to yep. cop my new shirts. Yes, Link sir. in the bio. Um, check out the vlogs if you haven't already. Yes, and uh, you make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button if you haven't already. If you made it to the end, comment if you're wearing socks. <laughs> <laughs> so we know y'all made it to the end. All right, <laughs> All right. Jumpers Jump out. Deuces.